If you're like I am, after you finish a job painting, you save what's left in the can for later touch-up. The only problem is, by the time you need to touch up, the paint has thickened into a blob. How do you mix it with that little stick they gave you at the hardware store? Here's a little trick that you can use all on your own and make things work a lot better. Here are the supplies you're going to need. A piece of threaded rod, it doesn't matter, this is quarter inch, this is three-eighths inch. Two nuts that will go on the rod, here quarter inch, three-eighths inch here. And a piece of sheet metal, a thin sheet metal. You can even use the top of an old soup can. And you'll need something to cut that with. A soup can, I think you could cut it with a scissors. If it's thicker metal, you're going to need a tin snips a hacksaw, and a drill. So what you're going to do is get that piece of sheet metal and while it's still at a larger size you're going to drill a hole through it. The hole is about the size of the threaded rod that you have. After you've done that you can take your tin snips and you can cut a piece. You can see this is about as thick as a band-aid. Then I put a slit in the middle with the tin snips, took a pliers and tweaked it, made it a little bit like a propeller. And then if you just take and put two nuts, one on each side of the threaded rod, and tighten them in opposite directions, and tighten them, and they, they will stay there. And when you do this, you're going to cut the threaded rod with a hacksaw. And remember, when you cut it with a hacksaw, you're going to get some shredding. So to prevent it not being able to thread later, what you want to do is put your nuts on the threaded rod, cut it, and then exit the nut over the shredded cut. And that will usually line up the threads again, and you can put a nut on that rod. Now, when you're all done, you can take and just put this at a low speed in your drill. And you can see I've just had a can of paint and I just got done painting so I don't want to make this all messy again but you can see you can take this and you can put it down into the bottom of that can and go around and around and if you want you can even jack the speed up. And in no time you have your paint all mixed up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.